This episode is sponsored by Sean's Hat. Sean's Hat is the hottest thing in fashion right now. Wearing this hunkalicious headgear, you will soon be the coolest kid in school. It comes in all kinds of colorful colors that will sparkle your lockles. Buy it now, and maybe, just maybe, you'll one day look half as sexy as Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Terrible Histories. Terrible Histories is in no way connected or influenced by Horrible Histories or any other show of that manner. It is completely its own original creation. Please do not sue us. Today we will see the life and times of Julius Caesar, and the famous and bloody end to those aforementioned life and times. Our story begins with Caesar watching a gladiator match with his friends and allies. the cast. Here we have the man himself, Julius Caesar, recently elected dictator, and his power is only growing. The Roman people love him. Here we have Augustus, Caesar's adopted son. He's a jolly old chap. I don't really know what to say about him. I mean, he comes relevant later, so... Oh, stab him! Stab him! Brutus is another one of Caesar's sons. Pro probably, maybe. <laughs> he first met Caesar when he was on the other side of a war with him. But after winning the war, Caesar demanded that Brutus was kept alive and brought in, because he believed that Brutus might possibly be his son. Either way, Caesar acted as a father figure to him, raising him and looking after him all these years. Gaius is a patrician, and he does not like Caesar, but remember him, because he has dark plans. And lastly, we have... Oh, wait. Oh, oh no, that's, that was everybody. That's just an extra. Brutus is feeling uneasy. While Caesar is like a father to him, and a friend, he thinks that he's gaining far too much power rapidly. Brutus believes that Rome should never have a king again, that that much power is too much for one man. But he is scared that Caesar may become a king, and he will do anything to avoid this. Gaius also believes this, but he does not share Brutus's reluctance to hurt Caesar. Hey, psst, Brutus, you want to kill Caesar, boy? I don't know. I'm so torn. Yeah, but do you want to kill him? Dude, it'll be so fun, we can stab him tons. I'm sorry, but I just can't do it. He's protected me and, and treating me like his own son. I, I, I just can't portray him like that. Oh, come on, dude. It'll be so sick. We can make our own little club and call ourselves the Liberators, or the Libs for short. Hmm, the Libs does sound pretty cool. I know, right? I thought of it myself. Fine, I'll do it. Yeah, cool, dude. This is going to be so lit, fam. So, Brutus has succumbed to his dark urges, and it seems Caesar's fate is sealed. Let's skip forwards a few months to see how the limbs are going. Ah, Brutus, you're finally here. Oh, what's that? Secret handshake. Okay, these are the other limbs. That's Quintus Ligarius, and that is... 
Well, I, to be honest, I don't really know who that one is. He just wanted him from the street. I'm a friend. So, Brutus, take a seat. Okay, Brandon, I can sit on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> So, let us begin. Our day of truth is near. In exactly seven days, we will assassinate Caesar. <laughs> so, what's the plan? Ah, yes, the plan. And what a genius plan it is. Because of this great plan of my own creation, Caesar will not stand a chance. Okay, so what is it? Okay. So we lure Caesar into a room where we will all be hiding, and then we jump out and we stab him. Is that it? The whole plan? There's no obstacles to get past? No security? It's our, a simple plan. Right. Uh, simple, but nonetheless genius. Okay, so it's all settled? Yes, yes. Everything is all ready to go. In seven days, Caesar will be dead. <laughs> Where's my chair gone? One week later. In the turquoise Caribbean waters of Jamaica. And it is absolutely great. And your two oldest children, eight-year-old Kennedy and five-year-old Cameron, also think you're very special. Caesar, there was someone to s What are you watching? Television won't be invented for thousands upon thousands of years. Oh my god, you're right. This seems like a major inconsistency with the timeline of this film. Yeah. Why don't we speak in Latin? That's a good point. Nothing about this makes any sense. Yeah, it's probably Emil's terrible script writing. So what do you want to tell me? Oh yes, uh, there's a visitor here to see you. Okay, I'll be right there. Golly gosh! There's no one here! Ha! We've got you now, Caesar! Wait! Gaius, where's the visitor? Vis vi visitor? There is no visitor! But... But you said someone wanted to see me. I just said that to lure you in here! This is a trap. We're here to assassinate you. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Oh. 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 Twenty-three stabs later. death got out, Rome went into a state of panic. People loved Caesar and believed him to be the next leader that would forever keep Rome safe. And after he died, everyone wanted some of the power that he left behind, and civil wars broke out. <laughs> Mark 
Antony, the late Caesar's friend, quickly tried to seize power. But, in the end, Augustus, Caesar's adoptive son and heir, became the first emperor of Rome. Exactly what the libs were trying to avoid. So, the moral of the story is, never betray your friends. Stay loyal. Also, Briz sucks! The libs are sad, pathetic losers! See you next time, ladies and gentlemen, when we'll tell the story of how Kanye West became ruler of the whole world! Peace!